Fifty years ago, psychedelics like LSD were considered cutting-edge science. But this powerful drug escaped the lab and became a street drug with a dangerous reputation, inspiring perceived moments of genius. I took a trip through architectural history. Or descents into madness. Now, science is taking a fresh look at LSD, including the first experiments on humans in 30 years. To separate the myth from the molecule, Explorer puts LSD under the microscope. environment that's novel, it starts burst firing very quickly. The cells fire very quickly. So if we're sitting in a quiet room like this and someone drops a glass bottle across the room, we all immediately hear it because the locus really start firing and drew our attention to it. Well, psychedelics amplify the burst firing in novelty. Can this novelty effect of psychedelics be used to help those in desperate situations clean the slate, and see life anew. Does it sound okay? Yep. Okay, great. So just lie down, and just relax, and just go into the experience. Annie Levy knows she's going to die in less than a year. She has stage four ovarian cancer. Annie is one of 12 patients with advanced cancer enrolled in this end-of-life study at Harbor UCLA Medical Center. Okay, here we have the medicine. Okay. Okay. Using a moderate dose of psilocybin, psychiatrist Charles Grobe and his colleague Alicia Danforth shepherd each patient through a psychedelic experience they hope will calm their fear and anxiety. When individuals develop a terminal illness, they're often overwhelmed with anxiety. They often have to take uh, large quantities of pain-suppressing medication, constricts their capacity to appreciate life, and it constricts their sense of who they are, their sense of who they always thought they were, and their sense of purpose, their sense of meaning. This here is Tukunima Galtzin, who I met in Tibet. It takes less than an hour for the world to begin to look different to Annie. The drug started to work. It felt like the bed wasn't a bed anymore. It was a circle of hands, and they were all holding me up and supporting me. Do you need anything? Um, OK. OK, just to know you're here. And I felt like I had always been supported that way, and I always would be supported that way. It was my faith coming back to me. My faith, the faith that there's something out there. It's, it's like trying to describe colors to a blind person. It, it changes the way you think. Of the 12 participants in this psilocybin study, only two survive. They'd said what they'd needed to say. They'd forgiven people. They'd mended relationships. They can experience a, a sense of close proximity to, to God, to the divine, and they, they report that they are infused with light. The man who created this molecule, Albert Hoffman, warned, if used improperly, LSD could hurt you, disturb you, make you crazy. But Hoffman also said that LSD is a tool to turn us into what we're supposed to be. How psychedelics evolve from this point as agents of healing or misuse is yet to be seen.